We are SIO2 Material Science, and we drive innovation for life-saving and life-changing products, including medical vials. They are made of a hybrid material that fuses all the benefits of glass with all the benefits of plastic, while eliminating the drawbacks of both. Here's how we do it. First, the vials are injection stretch blow molded using medical grade resin. The resin is fed into molds and stretch blown into the vial shapes. From there, a robotic arm removes the vials and transfers them to the gripper array. The gripper array lowers and places the vials onto the cooling belt. The vials are then transitioned to the rotary indexing table. From there, the vials move on to our proprietary automated inspection cells. Each vial undergoes its own inspection as it goes through a series of sophisticated inspection stations. It is then laser etched for individual traceability. Our vials are individually inspected for cosmetic, dimensional, and other defects related to the molding. We capture more than 30 individual data for each vial. At this point, if one of the vials was rejected, the good vial is transferred to the vial buffer station where it awaits other vials to be transferred to either a nest or a tub or a bulk array, depending on the customer request. Shown here is a nest and tub. Once full, the tub or tray moves via conveyor belt out of the inspection cell. Along this belt, the barcode label that was placed on the tub or tray is scanned. The tub of vials is placed onto the infeed belt where the barcode is scanned for part traceability. The vials are transferred to a puck which is equipped with an RFID chip for further traceability. Next, the vials are picked up, flipped over, and inserted into coating chucks. This orientation is necessary for the coating process. The vials are moved onto the coating station where processed gases are blown into the containers to create the hybrid material. Cameras monitor the plasma continuously through the process to ensure proper coating. The vials are then cleaned with ionized air to remove any residual particles and then vacuumed prior to inspection. The vials are then transported to our advanced particle inspection system where we inspect the body, shoulder, face, heel, and bottom of each vial for particles. Our proprietary particle inspection system has been designed specifically to detect particles below human eye detection. All non-conforming vials are redirected into the reject chute where they are separated into different bins to further inspect the defects. The pucks are cleaned using an automated medical cleaning system after each cycle to ensure they are not transporting particulate. Next. All of the vials that passed inspection are placed into nests and tubs. The tub is moved to the Tyvek sealer. A dust cover is placed into the tub and an outer cover is placed onto the top of the tub. A proprietary inspection system verifies the Tyvek sheets were placed correctly on the tub prior to sealing. The sealing process is now complete. Sealed tubs are moved to laser marking where customer-defined text is added. The tubs are then transferred to the outfeed conveyor and are then sealed into two poly bags. The tubs are placed into trays that are then placed into the case shipper. The case shipper is taped shut and labeled. Twelve case shippers are put onto a pallet. The pallet is shrink-wrapped, labeled, and staged into a warehouse ready to be shipped to a facility for sterilization. SIO2 currently partners with the world's leading sterilizer where the vials are e-beam sterilized. When the containers return from sterilization, tubs are randomly selected to undergo further quality testing. The remaining containers are ready to be shipped to the customer.